Today we're going to be installing these fog lights into this 2005 Toyota Camry. A few things before we get started. Of course, you're going to need the fog lights themselves. Now, there are two types of fog lights. I bought the wrong ones first, but then I had to replace them. There are two types of front bars for this Toyota Camry. There's the Sportivo model, and then there's the normal model. This is the standard model. Now, the Sportivo model has fog lights like these, right? So make sure you don't buy these ones. Make sure you buy the ones that I showed you just before. On the bonnet here, you can see there are two types of fog lights. The one on the left is the type for this front bar. As you can see, the shape is similar, whereas the other one is just too thin and sharp on the edges. The one on the right is for the Sportivo types and the Sport models. And the standard front bar, which I have on this car, is for that type of fog light right there. So bear that in mind when you go to buy a set of fog lights. A few other things you're going to need are a set of wiring, a button, or some sort of switch to turn them on and off and obviously bulbs if your fog lights do not come with bulbs and that's it we can do this now obviously you're going to need tools or else you can't do this so let's get into it the first thing i did was jack up the car so that it gives me more room to get under the car and get to the fog light and i'll show you what i mean in just a second so here's one point here you notice how this got the grooves and the cutouts in there that's how you know that's where you jack it up from i'll show you in the back so here's the back. Where you want to jack is where this little arrow is. You notice how there's a little arrow here? That points to where you jack from, which is this point right here in between these two cutouts. So you can use the jack that they supply with the car or like I have done, I've just used a 2.5 ton jack and I've just jacked it from that point as well. You must make sure you jack from the center point here where the arrow points. If you do not jack from here, you're going to bend this chassis and it's going to uh, deform and that's not how you want it this point is where you jack it from because it is solid that is your solid jacking point to get started we need to remove this clip right here you just turn it until it clicks and then you go under and pry it out next we need to get under the car here so you can get to the fog light from underneath the car and remove this wheel guard so there's a total of five bolts that you need to remove there's one here that I haven't removed, but I've removed the one here. I've also removed the one right there. This one here and this one here. Removing these five will allow you to pull this flap back so you can access the fog light cover under here. Once you remove it, as you can see here, you can flip this on back and it will go all the way back. Now mine is broken here, which is why I can get more of a flex, but even if it's not broken, you will get it to flex back. Now, as you can see here, I've already installed the fog light here and wired it and everything, but I'm gonna show you guys on the other side how you do all this. So to put it simply, this sits inside behind the guard like that. You have a point which attaches here and here. Then you've only got two 10 mil bolts that you need to remove. It's there and there, you cannot miss it. And I'll show you guys right now on the other side because this side's already done i've got the jack in the same position right now and now i'm just going to jack it up and i'm also going to uh leave the jack here because i don't want it to accidentally fall down and break my head right here so now i'm going to remove these three bolts here just these three and then also these two here as well as the clip here but whoever owned the car previously before me got rid of it and just used, decided to use double-sided adhesive and a self tap it screw down here so that's what I use now in order to secure it but as you can see here I just use the screws here and you know it's okay I mean it is a bit floppy here but after all it's just a daily driver nothing too serious I'm just going to use a power tool just because it's faster for me uh, if you don't have one just use a normal ratchet and it's fine All five bolts removed now we can just pull this back and flex it on down like that and we can get to the um, bolts underneath here that hold the fog light cover in place we're going to remove this fog light cover by removing the two bolts so there's one here at the front and then there's one right here just remember that when you go to look at it 
Right, so coming from underneath the car, you can see there are your two bolts right there, just where I pointed to. So we need to remove these two and then we can pop off the cover. I just want to show you guys you can do this two ways. You can either use just a Phillips head because the bolt head has a Phillips head on it. So I want to do it with this for the one on the bottom and then I'll just use a ratchet for the other one. I'm going to do this by feel a bit because uh, I want to be out of the way when I'm doing this. So the first one's just about here, right? So I'm going to get my screwdriver in, look for the bolt head. It's there. Okay, so I'll get my screwdriver in, get it on the head. Now I'm on the head, I'm just going to unscrew it. It's unscrewed now, I'm just going to do the rest by hand because I've already loosened it and here we are. It has a Phillips head, so you can use a Phillips head to undo it. And that goes for both. This is a 10 mil bit and this is a 10 mil. So the next one, I'm going to use this because it's just going to be easier now. I'm going to come in underneath once again, look for the corner part where this bolt is, which is in the top corner there. I can just see my hand through here, so I know I'm close. Get onto the nut head and there we are. Now we just undo it. Now there isn't much room here, so just be patient. You're going to do by a couple turns, break it loose, then you can just use your hands. All right, so now I've got it loose. I'm just using my hands now to undo it because I've already broken it loose and there it is there. We have two points that clip in here and at the top here and this part just slides in. So what we need to do is go that way first and then come out. Here we go. All right, and then the last one there just comes out to your right. So here you go here, this is the fog light pulled out. As you can see, it kind of clips in here. It also clips in at the bottom right there and at the top it slides in sideways to the right, which is this way. So when you go to take this out, what you need to do is to your left, so this part unclips. So you go out to the towards the center of the car and then you pull back and it does come out. Then you just wiggle it out. So now we'll install the fog light. Just also remember before you install it, make sure you peel off this protection. Now I've already got bulbs in here. Mine are 9006. I don't think you can see it right now, but it's just in here. It's 9006 bulb type. If you look here, you can just see the letter L. That means being inside the car, this is the left-hand side, right? So whatever the letter is on your fog light, that's the side that it goes on. Besides, it can only go on one way anyways. On your fog light, you've only got this point that lines up and then it just bolts in. That's how they've made this one. All right, I'm gonna get the fog light in, just like this. And then I'm gonna make sure that I line up this point here with the clip hole right here. Once I get that in, I can just push it into place. See this right here, that's where this is going to slide into. Once you get that in, you can just simply push the light into place and then bolt it in. I'm gonna guide this straight into here. And then push it in. All right, we're just gonna install these and uh, the fog light's done. In my case, I'm just going to do it by feel at the bottom because it's very easy, it's very close to the bottom and I'm just going to tighten it down. So here we are looking at from underneath the car. There is the one bolt right there. Very easy to get to from the bottom. So you just reach underneath and you can do it by feel. And then the next one is looking at the outside of the car from inside is to the right to the top. And you see that bolt hole right there that's where the next bolt's gonna go. That's it, that's all there is to it to get these fog lights in. Just one spot that clips in, and then two bolts that bolted in. So that's how I got this bolt on, guys. As you can see, I used the ratchet and an extension, but in order to get it started, I had to take off this ratchet first and simply use my hands to start the bolt, right? And then once it was tight enough, I got this on, and now it was just a matter of going back and forth until it was tight. That's it. Both of these fog lights are on now. Now we just have to put the fender covers back on. So that's our fog light installed. Looks pretty good. Here's the side I just did. As you can see, I never took off the wheel well guard completely. I just simply left it on and pushed it back and then I pushed my drill in front of it so it wouldn't flick back and hit me in the face. And there's my ratchet dangling down because that's how I tightened it. But you get the gist of it guys. It's pretty simple install. From here, it really is as simple as fitting back your wheel guard at the bottom here and putting in all one, two, three, four, and five 
bolts. Then you just have to do the exact same to the other side and you are done. That's how you install fog lights on a 2005 Toyota Camry with a standard front bar, not a sports one. Right, now let's talk about the second part of this install where I had to buy a wiring kit like this. And it, this is a really good kit because it comes with a button where you can install it by cutting out this rectangular shape here. And these two tabs here, you just push it in and it clicks in. Then you've got pre-wired wires which you plug straight into it. All right, you push on this tab and you can pull it out. You have your button separate, right? And then you've got this pre-wired kit which has a grounding point, a 12 volt switch point or a positive wire. You just have to wire that to a 12 volt switch power source. And in my case, I just used that fuse right there. And it is a 12 volt switch power source. But uh, if you guys want to know more about it, I'll try and leave some detail in the description and then you guys can see how I did it. But from here, you basically have to get the cable all the way to the front. So I simply used a point in the car which allowed me to get all the way to the front. Now, it is a bit of a mess around, but uh, eventually you will get there. This is also the relay that they put on this uh, wiring harness and I'll leave a link in the description to this wiring harness it's a really good one and I'll show you guys where I came out the front and how I got it all the way to the front so from the front I went through the quarter panel and then I came out through here so I loosened this bolt here and once I loosened the bolt I was able to pull this quarter panel back see where it leads and I put a light a LED light in the front down here so I could see where the light shined out of then I simply Push that cable through with the green plug and now I routed it under this and then I came through down down and I just tucked it in through here then you have your grounding wire for this cable which is here so I grounded it to a point of the car just there underneath the coolant so I use that grounding point there and for this front driver side which is the right hand side I just tucked it down the side there. You can see where I tucked it down, just behind here. And then it dropped down just behind here so I could plug it into the fog light. Now the fog light's on and it works. As for the other side, it splits off right here. Then I just ran it straight across the front here, straight across, and then for this side here, I dropped it down just where the radiator is. As you can see, it goes down in there. From there, comes out past the radiator, just here. You can see where the cable comes out. All right, so there it is right there, underneath this bar for the radiator. You can see the cable there. Then it just simply goes underneath, goes through there here, goes right through there to the light. And that's how I got all of it to work. Then I bought a set of 9006 halogen bulbs. So I just got halogen for now because it was a very cheap alternative so I could test it. And then I'll probably switch it to LEDs later so it matches my white LEDs as well. But you get the gist of it now guys. That's pretty much how I went about routing the cable. How I got it through to the front. To the engine bay and then finally to the fog lights themselves. Now in order to install this, all I'm going to do here is just cut a rectangle out of this and then install it right here. I mean, it's just a much easier option because unfortunately my cable doesn't get all the way to the other side and it would be better if I could get it right here because then you've got this panel right here which is perfect for it but in my case I'm not going to be able to do that so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to fit it behind this panel and it's not a big deal because this panel is really cheap to replace it's just your you know fuse cover and so it doesn't really matter if I cut into this I'm always going to know what the fuses are by simply searching online it's not a big deal at all and yeah, that's it. That's how you install fog lights for your 2005 Toyota Camry. So I really hope you found this video helpful guys. And if you did, don't forget to 
like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video i know it's been a long while since i did a couple of w204 videos but they are coming i definitely have not forgotten about you guys you guys made my channel to begin with so i will always do w204 videos these are just a couple of other videos that i wanted to work on because i could bye for now see you in the next one